another video and we're going to just basically break down briefly the difference between being conservatives versus liberal. Usually we associate liberal with Democrats and we associate Republicans with conservatives. But if you are a conservative, it doesn't mean you're a Republican. You could be independent. You could be actually be a Democrat. Just because you're liberal don't mean you are a Democrat. You could be a liberal Republican or a liberal independent because the liberal and conservatives, it's so um, baked into our politics it makes it seems that when you say liberal or conservative, you say Republican and Democrat. And we know we have these rivaling tribes and we know that we're the good economic, that we have to um, stand up and have the courage to speak truth to power and say what we need to say, do what we need to do and not allow um, those who um, don't like us or those who don't want to see the black race grow or, or thrive. We have to bounce um you know, kick back on all that. We have to um, have a little pushback. So with the pushback, it's basically just knowledge. You know, knowledge is power and God's people shall not perish due to the lack of it. So you really got to understand conservatives literally believe in God. They walk to walk and walk to talk, not Republicans. I'm talking about conservatives. Liberals, they're on the other side. It's kind of like God and the devil. Because if you talk, if you go with uh, conservatives, conservative is a is a is a moral way of living, is a taking things to another level because there's a higher power that's watching. OK. And when I say we deal in flesh and blood, we, we, sh we need to deal in powers and principalities and not flesh and blood. These are the things that psychologically we can actually overcome just by understand the fight is not flesh and blood if we're physically fighting with flesh and blood you will never hear from god and you will never ever in life reach your full potential but if you understand that and rise above the madness and have a moral compass uh, a, a horizontal re, a vertical relationship with god and a horizontal relationship with mankind then we have an opportunity to actually flip the script and have a shot at being a part of society because right now you know our whole uh our whole race is pretty much gone and it's pretty much silence because most of us are either democrats and we fight for democrats because we don't understand the difference between liberal and conservative the democrat just imagine if the if the if there was a liberal car uh, you remember when Dave Chappelle um, talked about the, the alphabet people, uh, which is nothing wrong. I'm an alphabet. I'm an H, which is heterosexual. So it's nothing wrong with that. But when you look at the identity politics, it basically takes it away from the group and make it about the individuals. They got a LBGTQ. OK, well, it's LGTQ, lesbian, lesbian, gay, transgender, queer. OK, bisexual. We're going to have a conversation. I'm going to do a whole entire video about that because there's literally no such a thing. Because by definition, if you're attracted to the same sex, that makes you homosexual. And if you and if you sleep with men and women, that makes you a queer, whether you're a woman or a man. 